Hi, this is Chris Gould with Geeks on Tour. And this tutorial video about smartphones is touchscreen essentials. This is for real beginners. Like you just got your first smartphone, you don't know how to touch it. Contrary to popular belief, we weren't born knowing this. So here I am in Google Maps and I'm just gonna show you tap, double tap, drag, long press, pinch and zoom. So tap just means a light touch. I'm tapping on the menus down at the bottom. Don't push hard, don't jab on them. It likes just a light touch. That's what tap means. I go back to explore, I'm on the map. Double tap means tapping twice fast. Double tap, I'm zooming in by Washington. Then you can drag by putting your finger on and dragging, holding down on the screen as you move around. Double tap. Pinch means using two fingers on the screen. When you spread them, you're zooming in. Let's call that a reverse pinch. And then when you pinch, you're zooming out. And drag means you can move the map anywhere around the world. Let's say you want to put a marker somewhere right under my finger here in Changwon. To drop a marker, it's a long press. You touch on what you want to mark and voila, a marker comes up. Now let me show you those same touches in Google Photos. I'll go home and out to Google Photos. Same thing, a light touch on the menus at the bottom. That's tapping. Then open a photo is also a single tap. Then you need to find your back button, usually at the top left on all apps to go back. Pinch and zoom lets you zoom in on the photo or zoom back out and then long press on Google Photos will select a photo. So same touches, different programs will have different things associated. Now we come to swipe. It's, it's an easy motion. You just put your finger on the screen and swipe. We call this swipe right because that's the direction my finger is going. But Forgive me if sometimes I call this swipe right because even though my finger is moving to the left, I'm going to a screen that is further right. <laughs> On your home screens, it's very important where you're swiping. So that left and right was pretty easy. Uh, top, if you swipe all the way off the top of the screen and swipe down, you're getting your notifications. To get rid of them, you swipe up from the bottom. But if you swipe up from the middle of your screen, this is an Android, this is a Samsung. Swiping up from the middle gets me my all apps. Tapping the home button gets me home. And there's a special little place on the very side of this phone that if I swipe over, I'm getting this special sidebar. Now on the iPhone, there's also very special swipes. Swiping left and right is the same. Swiping up gets you to your home screen. A swipe down from the top left, not always easy, <laughs> will get you your notifications. Swipe up from the bottom to go home. Swipe down from the top right. This one is important. Top right gets you your quick settings, your control center on the iPhones greater than iPhone 10s. Then swipe down from the middle gets you your search for, for apps. Swipe up. So swipes are very dependent on exactly where you're swiping and which phone you have. 